This is the first Saturday night of phase two in the reopening of North Carolina, and it comes with some more freedom, but also a new warning. A record number of people tested positive for COVID-19. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Genevieve Curtis and I'm Phil Orban. Today the state reported more than 1100 people tested positive yesterday. The previous daily record was 853. Now here's what's more concerning. That huge spike wasn't necessarily because of an increase in testing. Tests weren't at a record high, but the percentage of positive tests hit its highest level in more than three weeks at 10%. Hospitalizations also reached a new high today at 589. That makes social distancing even more important, but it could be more challenging this weekend. Yeah, lots of people are out now that restaurants have reopened as part of phase two. Plus, of course, it's a holiday weekend. Channel 9's Deshaun Brown joins us live right now from South End. Deshaun, the area is usually packed on a typical weekend. How has it been tonight? Well, Genevieve, I can tell you that the crowd has started to pick up as we get later into the evening hours. One owner told me it's certainly not what they would normally see on a holiday weekend, which can be a good sign from a health perspective, but definitely a challenge when you're talking business. It's Saturday night in Charlotte in the first under phase two. That means restaurant dining rooms and breweries can open, but it's not quite the same. Cautious, cautiously optimistic. Um, I, I know I'm not going to do the type of numbers that we normally did, but any, any amount of revenue is good to help pay expenses. Nine-year-old Sanaa Odoms was out with family and summed up their getaway in one word. Refreshing. Other emotions ranged from excitement to anxiety. I guess there's like a little bit. It's definitely in the back of the mind. Definitely want to make sure you're not sharing drinks and everything like that. Everybody is a little anxious. I just think that this soft opening is just a testament for where we are right now as a country. Here's where things stand in North Carolina. Just yesterday, the state health department reported a record number of positive cases in a single day at more than 1100 people. Then said of the increase, it's concerning. The brickyard owner, Anthony Cardone, is concerned for a different reason. I, I'm, I'm upset about it. He was expecting to reopen to this weekend, then learned bars like his did not make the cut. What kind of evidence do they have to say that we can't follow the same guidelines solely because we don't have a kitchen? Many restaurants that do have a kitchen didn't have their normal crowd, but told us it's a start. Just doing those common sense things, I think we can manage for right now. And for perspective, one owner says that percentage was about 40% of what they would normally bring in on a day like today. But then I also spoke to one restaurant who chose not to reopen their dining room, citing safety reasons. Back to you. Yeah, Deshaun certainly is different from what we have seen on a normal Saturday night. Deshaun, thank you. Well, phase one only lasted for two weeks, but we can expect that phase two is going to last a lot longer. We have to meet certain requirements like the number of cases must be trending down. Right now, the state says phase two will last at least five weeks. That will take us until June 26. Now, the state hasn't given an update this week about what phase three will look like, but in the past, Governor Roy Cooper said restaurants and churches will be able to increase their capacity. High risk groups will still be encouraged to socially distance and rigorous restrictions will continue at nursing homes and other congregate care facilities. South Carolina took another step towards reopening yesterday. Governor Henry McMaster allowed attractions and movie theaters to reopen in time for the holiday weekend. Today, the state announced 248 new cases of COVID-19 and six new deaths. Only about 9% of tests have come back positive. 